The Taliban are not in charge of any part of the military section of the Kabul airport or its gates. These remain under U.S. military control. And Pentagon spokesman John Kirby told a news briefing on Friday. And Air Force General Glenn Van Herk in a video conference said he was confident in the security screening of Afghans arriving in the U.S. and that positive COVID cases among them so far have been low. Um, firstly, uh, have the Taliban entered or taken control of any parts of the military section of HKIA that you're aware of? The Taliban are not in control of any part of Hamid Karzai International Airport. I saw that report too. It's false. Including any of the gates? They are not in charge of any of the gates, are not in charge of uh, any of the airport operations. Uh, that is still under U.S. military control. For security, I, I would defer to DHS who runs that operation. I'm very comfortable. Uh, we've worked to streamline that operation. Uh, as I said in my opening comments, we're doing biographical and biometric testing across the various uh, agencies of the interagency to include our counterterrorism and intelligence communities. Uh, what we're seeing is uh, folks coming across cleared by that process, process uh, which I'm comfortable with. With regards to COVID, uh, the Afghans coming uh, from uh, the Middle East into our uh, locations that we have stood up are all being tested actually multiple times. We test them 100% upon arrival at each location. They're getting tested at Dulles as well, and en route they get tested. I'll give you some numbers. Uh, we are seeing uh, so far to date, when I was at Fort McCoy on Wednesday, only three out of more than 1,300 had tested positive. When I went to Fort Bliss the same day, one out of more than 1,200 had tested positive for COVID. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.